You look funny. Don't talk about your mother like that. You? Nice. Come on, lad. Don't follow us up to the pub. We won't. The morning of the way. Is it? Take me ale. Smell of a bomb in his apron, lad. <laughs> now! Now! What do you think this is? What's your name? Sullivan. I'm watching you, Liam Sullivan. Sin 
Dickens first. You were my bonny bride. What's that bleeding good over there? Our what are you doing here? sing that song again. That's the Proddy Dogs, that. Yeah. Come on, then. See you in a minute. Christ praise the widow of might. God bless this house. Bless you, Father. Bless you, Father. Hope I'm not interrupting. Bit short this week, Father. 
Christ praised the widow's might. See you, I'll follow. When I started work, Father, I have to save me time. Other fellas my age were labouring, thinking on men's wages and I was in, shirt buttons, but I stuck it out. Those fellas are on the dole now, Father, and I'm still working. I've got no conscience about that. I earned my peace of mind years ago. I saved me time. Good night, Father. Ten. Okay. You're not cleaning a lavatory. No daughter of mine cleans another woman's lavatory. Sullivan. I'm not a Catholic. Oh, we're Jewish. I am. Does that make any difference to you? No. Closing. 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 to be able to hear a pin drop. Quiet! <laughs> Line one. Line two. Back there, come on. Teresa. Now, you can't see it, but it's there. 
And when you were born, it was as white as the driven snow. But you've sinned. And each time you've sinned, you put a mark on your soul, a stain on your soul. And now that soul is... Describe your soul. Dirty. Oh, it's more than dirty. Filthy. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. But next week, when you make your first confession, you can wash away all that filth, all that sin. And then, and only then, only when your soul is as white as the day you were born, then you can receive your first holy communion. What'll I do with this? Oh, check it out. We've been eating it all week. We're sick of it. Teresa? Yeah? Good night. Go home, son. Go on. They gave it you? Yeah. Well, your dad's working. We don't need charity. Where is he? Where is he? What's wrong? What's going on? Nothing. Where have you been? Had a drink. Starting that game again, are we? What's this? Well, a few hours ago, it was your tea. If I'd known, I took it to the alehouse and put it over your head. You haven't sold it, have you? Tell me what? The yard's closed. What are you going to do? Put on the dock in the morning, see if I can get a bit of casual work. Yeah, you and a million others. I'm not going cap and to anybody, priest. What's your father I ain't You can forget that. Just why not? Get that idea right out of your head. Why not? That's why. There's thousands on the bloody parish. Well, I'm not going to be one of them. We've been paying into it for years. For Christ's sake, woman, I'm not going to be home to any bloody priest. And I'm not going to see my family starve. They won't starve. Teresa's working, Con's working. I'm not getting shared buttons. Well, I'll be working. Where? I'll be working. If I've got to choose between...
between your stupid pride and put food you on my table. Keep away from that, please. I'm going to put food on my table. I want none of a priest. God's sake, will you talk to each other? You'd ask Aggie for the loan. Why? I'm gonna buy the gaff for a few pints. I buy him a couple of pints, he gets me some work. The man I married said he'd never do that. He lied. Do you want a cup of tea? tell me what sin does. Apart from blackening your soul, apart from smearing your beautiful white souls with filth, can anybody tell me what sin does? Will you please tell them what sin does, Father? It drives the nails deeper into the hands of Christ. Christ died to take away the sins of the world. And the more sin, the more he had to suffer. Each time you sin, you add to the suffering of Christ. You drive, you the, drive nails the nails deeper, deeper into, the into the hands of Christ. Of Christ. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone to watch over me. I'm a little lamb who's lost in the wood. I know I could always be good to one who watch over me. Totally. Although he may not be the man some girls think of as handsome, to my heart he carries the key. Won't you tell him, please, to put on some speed? Follow my lead. Oh, how I need someone to watch over me. Watch over me.
He didn't love. He knew I was a Leah. Liam has a question for you, Father. Ask Father Ryan the question you asked me, Liam. How do you know if a sin is a sin? That was it, wasn't it? Yes, miss. A sin is a sin if it's on your conscience, if it troubles you. Anything that troubles you, you must tell the priest. And what happens, Father, if they hide anything from the priest at confession? Then you commit the gravest sin of all, a sacrilege. And if you die with a sacrilege on your soul, God will send you hurtling down to hell. Things, please. You're under arrest. You're under arrest for stealing meat from the kitchen. Would you bring us some tea, please, Teresa? Sorry. You get picked every time. Why? I'll tell you why, because you're on the cutting us down. But you let me pass! You're working on the cheap, you Irish scum! Get, get out of my country! Get out of my country! Well, you should have spit in that gaffer's eye. I have done. He'll ask you how much. Say seven and a tanner. I will not write it down. You can say it. Just say it. Seven and a tanner, seven and a tanner. Be mum said seven and a tanner. Seven and a tanner, seven and a tanner. Be mum said seven and a tanner. Seven and a tanner, seven and a tanner. My mum said seven and a tanner. Seven and a tanner, seven and a tanner. My mum said seven and a tanner. 
How much do you want? How much? Twelve and a tanner. Is there a sign outside that says Benevolent Society? No, it says tight-fisted bastard, as a matter of fact. Stain and lapel. Holy water. Did it blessing himself. Eight shilling. Look at him. Eight shilling. The poor lad is starving, scared to walk over a grid. Eight shilling. That's not a heart you've got. It's a swinging brick. For God's sake, look at the poor lad. When will it come out, son? Friday, for sure. He's up in court. Nine, Bob. For God's sake. It's brand new. I see my face in it. Well, that must be a terrible bleeding sight, mustn't it? Miserable gob like that. Make it the ten. Ten, Bob? You'll get your reward in heaven. That big pawn shop in the sky where everything's redeemed. Nine Atana, and that's it. Ah, for God's sake. Yes! Nine and Atana. You can go again. Jane's clothes. Do 
There's a nicer one. You know how much it hurts when you burn your finger? Imagine burning your whole hand. Imagine thrusting your hand into the fire and keeping it there. Your arm, both your arms, your entire body. Now, think of the hottest fire you've ever seen. You're thinking of it, the hottest fire you've ever seen. Well, it is nothing compared to the fires of hell. The fires of hell are a million times hotter than any fire on earth. And you will be in there. Your entire body will be in there, burning forever in the fires of hell. Forever. Can you help them to imagine forever, Father? Think of a beach. The biggest beach you've ever seen. You go there. You pick up a grain of sand. You take it away. You go back a year later and you take another grain of sand. And the next year, another. How long before you've removed all that sand from that beach? A billion years. A billion, billion, billion years. And forever hasn't even begun. Forever. To burn forever in the fires of hell. Confession today. Close your eyes. Put your hands together.
Flaschen in der Tank. Die so bad. Mein Mann. Schwun. Taken. Is Liam still in there? Anything else? Is there something bothering you, my child? You can't tell me because you can't get the words out. Or you can't tell me because you're too embarrassed. There's nothing else, then. No, Father. For your penance, say three Hail Marys and an Our Father. I go to absolve for in nomine Pate et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. I can't. I can't. Look, it's his first Holy Communion. I just oh. want to bring him out. I want I to hold my head up high. I know. I understand. Please. It's not possible. Will you let me have a check? No, I'm sorry. It's not possible. There's no excuse for dirt. No matter how poor you are, you can always be clean. There's water in the tap. No tide marks around your neck. No spuds in your ears. Nails clean. Um, wait! Okay. Hey! Go to Aggie's after school. Ask her if she's got a dicky bow. No!
thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Tenth, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods. Eleventh, thou shalt not get caught. Closer, bunch, bunch closer, huh? yeah. That's it. Aggie! Aggie! Oh, come on, then, hurry up. How much longer? A minute. There's a panel in there. It's the light. I can't help you. Well, you have to want. Oh, for God's sake, Tom, I'm getting locked your ear. What do you want? All right, now smile. We're smiling. What now? Decky Bell! It's bloody jammed. Oh, for God's sake. What did he say? All right. Tell me what you said. No! Tell me what you said. No! Tell me what you said. You heard! Don't you ever talk to me like that! He was hard faced. Big enough to hit my son, you're big enough to hit me. Now come out of there! You deserved it! But get in. You get in. Oh, for God's sake! What do you want? You hit my lad. Yeah, he deserved it. I chastise my kids, no one else. You want to chastise them a bit more often, love, because they're growing up to be hooligans. Oh, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Meaning? Well, the yeah, cases you're bringing up. I bring my kids up proper, love. They talk proper, they act proper, they eat proper. And mine don't. Yours? The only time they eat is when I feed them, love. Every time I see you after a fight or a few bob, and I'm not going to oh, give you neither. Have you got a few bob, have you? Yeah. Yes, oh, I yeah, have. you've got a few bob, and I haven't, because your husband goes down on his you knees. You leave my husband out in the this. gaffer's ass, and mine won't. I've seen your husband do it, love. I've seen him buy the gaffer. I've seen him pick stumps up out the gutter, so don't come the Iron Mighty with me, love. You've seen no such thing. I've seen it, now get. I smacked your lad because he deserved well, it. And you haven't any sense, you'd smack him even harder you'll yourself. smack him no more. I'll see him no more. I'll see you no more. I'll, I'll see your bloody family fine. no more. I might save myself a few bucks. Oh, listen to it. Listen to it. You are half a crown. That's right. The lousy stinking half a crown. Well, you'll get your half a crown, you wizened old bitch. Good. If it's the last thing I do, you'll get your half a crown. You tight-fisted cow. Good. And I never want to see you again as long as I live. Good. Yeah, good. You seen enough, have you? Have you seen enough? You, the back kitchen. You, the yard. Now! Go on, get out from under my feet. Go and see if you can find a few stumps in the gutter.
time we see. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> when? When? <laughs> no, but that could be a bit awkward. Don't be ridiculous. You know why that's awkward. I've got to go. Yes, sir. Uh, bye, Barbara. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Take this. Take it. That's our children, Eunice's Red Skin Library. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? You will spend happy hours. To pay your debt. Fancy a pint? Is she in? Aggie? Yeah? You're wanted. Who is it? Come and see. Round two, is it? <laughs> Half a crown. Your daughter's paid it. I couldn't keep it, so I gave it to Auntie Aggie. I thought you'd get talking again then. I was trying to do some good, that's all. I wasn't being hard face. I was trying to do a bit of good. Why couldn't you keep it? Cos I couldn't. Did he give it to you? Who? The man of the house. Did the man give you that money? For God's sake! Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites! You are like white sepulchres on the outside, clean and beautiful, but inside full of dead men's bones and maggots and stench and decay. Now, that could be you at your first Holy Communion. Clean and smart on the outside, but inside, in your heart and soul, sin, filth, stench. And woe betide you if that's the case. What will happen if that's the case? We will burn forever in the fires of hell. Pick one to keep. Pick one. In the tanner. Thanks. How much? Don't! How are we gonna eat? We're skins. We can't pay you cos we're skins. We've got no fucking money. We are skins! Can't you understand that, you Jewish bastard? 
Yes. We can't pay it because we're skint. Yes. I'd love the wax in your ear, eh? <laughs> Water you can drink right up to receiving communion. You can drink tea up to an hour before, but you must not eat before receiving communion. We don't want the body of Christ sloshing around with bits of toast, do we? No, Mrs. Abernathy. Little Lord Fauntleroy. How did you manage this? Don't start. No work? Nothing at all? Should have got his blue eyes on. Tom? Yeah. Does this fella? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God! Two mouthfuls? Yes, Father. Look at her. Look at her. You've seen this poor woman struggle to kick you out for your first Holy Communion. And because of your thoughtlessness and your selfishness, all her efforts have been wasted. Are you not ashamed? God wants you to make your first Holy Communion. And by sweet Jesus, son, you're going to make it. Corpus Domini nos three years, you Christi custodia at animum to him in vitam eternum amen. Corpus Domini nos three years, you Christi custodia at animum to him in vitam eternum amen. Corpus Domini nos three years, you Christi custodia at animum to him in vitam eternum amen.
I'd like to say how nice the children look. The girls in their frocks, the boys in their lovely white shirts. You've done them proud. Do you want to know what we paid for it, Father? Sit down. No. Jesus Christ has got us all skins, Father. You kit them out for Christmas, and you finish paying by Easter. You do for Easter, and you finish for wit. You do for wit, and it's Christmas again before you know it. And you're getting deeper and deeper. And Jesus Christ, he's a millstone round your neck. He's got me, skins. Please, sit down. No! I'm going to tell you how these all paid for this. They all got a check of the Jew boy. And tomorrow morning, all these frocks and all these lovely white shirts. But they're all going in the pawn shop. And that pawn shop's run by another bleeding Jew boy. Isn't that funny, father? Those who profit from all this Christianity are all bleeding Jews. Isn't that really, really funny? They're all bleeding Jews. I'm never gonna step foot in there again. It needed saying. Oh, for God's sake. Nothing but families there, families and bits of kids and you Are start. you not to get a stupid woman? Shut your mouth off. Well, don't you understand what we're doing to ourselves? Everyone's square. We can't afford to eat for Christ if we can't afford to eat and you're... Spend the money on fancy bloody frocks. And why not? Why not dress them up nice for one day? Because we've got no bleeding money. Why not let them feel a bit of pride I'm for one day? Oh, just mugs like us. Yeah, we're probably getting the backhand of the bleeding Jew boys. Uh, nice little deal going. Close little deal with you the You stop going on about the Jew boys. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah. You talk to me like that! What what you need to more you! Leave the lesson through your ass! Nobody Stop talks to me like that! Right now, boss! Don't ask me! Stop it! 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 Stop it!
gathers his weeds and burns them with fire. So will it be on the last day. The Son of Man will send forth his angels and they will gather in all the sinners of the world and cast them into a furnace of fire where they will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Nine o'clock Mass and Holy Communion. Donnelly? Nine o'clock Mass and Holy Communion. Are you sure, Donnelly? Yes, Miss. What colour were the vestments? Green, Miss. Sullivan? Sullivan? the apostles to speak by filling them with the Holy Spirit. Do you remember that? But would God help you to speak when you are lying? You said you went to Holy Communion. You didn't, Liam. I was there. Why didn't you go up for Communion? If you really did go up for communion, God would help you then. You'd say it easily, wouldn't you? Do you need to go to confession first? Then go. this sin? I saw my mother naked and there's something wrong with her. Something wrong with her? I'll go to hell when I die. <laughs> you silly lad. All <laughs> women have hair down there, son. Not just me, Mum. Not just your mum. I deny my faith, Father. I thought I wouldn't get the job if I told them I was Catholic, so I said I wasn't. And it stole me from their house. It was getting thrown out anyway, but it's still stealing. And she's got this boyfriend. She's married, but she's got this boyfriend. And I've taken messages for them. And the other day, her husband was listening to her on a telephone, and I warned her about it. And she gave me money and dresses, and that's bad. 
But there's worse, Father. She makes me ashamed of my own mother. She's nice, she talks nice, she dresses nice. My mum doesn't, my mum shouts that she's poor and she's tired. And I want this other woman to be my mother. You help the woman to sin. You must stay away from that house. Bless my father, for I've sinned. It's four weeks since my last confession. What are you doing to my kids? Late for work. I'm not going. What about? I don't work there anymore. Why? Because. Why? Why? Get out of my country. The priest said I can't wear here anymore. Why?
bit Jewish. Yeah. And I live in shit. Look at this place. Look at his face, you dirty, filthy Jewish bitch bastard. Come on, light it. What are you doing here? See him. See him. Go, go on, go on. Come on. That's it. Get off. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? 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 Come on, speak some what? Where is she? Upstairs. I'm sorry. 